Um, my experience is suds delivery. Um, I'm an engineer and I've been designing suds for the last 10 years now. Um, originally got in through the, the drainage aspect in terms of designing drainage schemes and uh, to date I've probably delivered well at least dozens of schemes um, both mixing up the, the soft landscaping components and also the hard engineering uh, and looking at what's appropriate for each site. 1996 was when I started doing this and it was in response to some presentations which went on at Coventry University using um, American examples and uh, I just thought this was a great way of um, dealing with water in the landscape. And from then, I, um, motorway service areas, commercial sites, housing and a lot of schools recently. So both design through construction to managing these sites, I'm, I'm responsible for all of that in the project that I do. The misconceptions of, of what suds can be and also the perceived disadvantages in the industry in terms of cost uh, and also land take. Uh, we found from the newer schemes we've been involved in, neither seem to be an issue. So it's, it's sort of counteracting those arguments uh, in the industry we find to be one of the biggest challenges. Yeah, and the fact that uh, most people have been assuming that uh, a pipe drainage system is the norm, so people have been doing this for years and years and years and it's difficult for particularly for people in say you know middle age to suddenly be asked to do something which is in many ways completely different slowing water down you know making it settle out silts rather than getting away as quickly as possible so you're asking people to do something new and different um, but I think once once particularly the younger guys and that is generally guys at the moment although there's a lot of women in the uh, in the engineering industries now the younger people do do sort of seem to get this. They're not inhibited, if you like, by, by things they've gone in the past. But it is mindset. It's just applying a different set of criteria to dealing with problems, which, in, as we know from recent, uh, recent times, um, the good old pipe system doesn't manage it very well. To get a successful delivery, that's what it needs. It needs the input from both. We're not just dealing with the engineering aspects in terms of management of flows and volumes, it's how that's set within the landscape. So it needs to be both functional in terms of managing those flows and volumes, but also aesthetically pleasing. So it's, it's providing the multifunctionality and, and providing the landscape with an additional function. And we always say that uh, the inspiration for this is natural drainage systems. So mimicking nature is one of the things we're trying to do. Well, um, as far as I know, pipes are pretty rare in nature. Um, most of the time, it's, it's all other sorts of processes that are going on, and we're trying to mimic that. So we're really dealing with the landscape. It's, it's a landscape-based uh, discipline now, rather than a pipe-based discipline. The training that we're providing is, as much as anything else, we're trying to deconstruct the processes to explain them and to give simple rationale as to how you can evaluate, both in terms of the design and also the implementation. So it's really providing an additional level of knowledge. So we're trying to upskill uh, both the guys who are designing the schemes and also those who have to evaluate the schemes. And I suppose one of the things which uh, we bring to the table here is experience. Um, many, much of the time you find people will be saying, ah, oh, but what if, or what happens if this happens, or have you had that happen? And because we've um, been involved in designing these things for a fair bit of time now, most of these things have happened to us one way or another, if you like, learning from mistakes. Um, but also learning just from experience, knowing that these things do work, that they work um, better, particularly in extreme situations than conventional drainage. And we have the experience to say that and the confidence to say that because we've been there and seen it working. We try to simplify as much as possible the message and provide simple, easy to use tools that the, the, the delegate and the participant on the day will be able to take away and then utilise in their ongoing industry. We also rely uh, on the, um, the history of Syria. Syria has been involved in uh, delivering literature, guidance and um, setting the scene, if you like, for SADS. It's been involved in the SADS process for a goodly time now since probably, I think, probably before the first manual came out. So we have that great support mechanism. We can, we can always find out um, any of the 
issues which are current, we can get those directly from Syria because they hear it, hear it first, if you like. So we have this great support mechanism behind and hopefully we bring the, the day-to-day on-the-ground experience that uh, I think is so necessary for anybody who's involved in the design profession.